Several of my viewers have been asking about the while conditional action that's new to Adobe Captivate 2017. And to be perfectly frank, I've uh, really struggled with this one. Uh, each time there's a new feature in Adobe Captivate released, I often think to myself, uh, one of two things, either, wow, you know, they were, they were reading my mind. This is exactly what I need. And, and many of those features solve a particular problem for me. Um, I didn't have a problem that could be solved by the while action. Um, you know, nothing at least that, that popped into mind right away. But I started to think about this new command and I thought that, you know, there's definitely some opportunities. You know, the, uh, the while conditional action works essentially like this. While a condition is true or potentially untrue, keep looping on a set of actions until it doesn't. And that's, that's pretty straightforward. So, um, you know, and if anyone who's done computer programming in the past will recall back to their, their, uh, you know, their days of learning computer programming, a while is a type of loop, you know, you, you have loops that continue to run until a certain condition is met, and then they continue with the rest of the prog uh, the program. So in this case, the while conditional action within Adobe Captivate works much the same. So it'll run this se series of commands over and over and over again until such time that that condition is no longer true. Or in this case, in the example I'm going to show you today, uh, until the user clicks out of that particular slide. So let's take a look at my copy of Adobe Captivate 2017 that I've got running on my computer here. You can see I've set up a pretty basic multiple choice. There's nothing too, uh, too unique about this. It's just four questions. Uh, who was elected Prime Minister of Canada in 2015? This is my go-to demo question. Uh, the answer is obviously Justin Trudeau, um, but for those who may be learning this for the first time, the distractors of Stephen Harper, Elizabeth May and Tom Mulcair. And I thought what might be kind of interesting to do with uh, with a question like this is to show people who Justin Trudeau, Stephen Harper, Elizabeth May and Tom Mulcair are. So um, what I thought of is a slideshow. And a slideshow is definitely uh, something you can use the while command for or the while the, the while conditional action for. Um, and I would encourage all of you because I'm very interested in this uh, in this type of conditional action, but I'm looking for ideas, and I think we're all looking for ideas. So what I'm going to put to all of you is a challenge to uh, you know to take what I've done here as maybe a foundation of how this conditional action can work, and build upon that. See what you can come up with. And, you know, maybe put your comments down below and, and, and we can all share and benefit by that knowledge. So let's get started here. So got my multiple choice question. So the first thing I need to do is to put the images of these candidates on the page here. And I've decided that probably the best way to do that or the most effective way to do that for this particular case is to put them on as a single um, object with multiple states. So we'll start off with uh, Tom Mulcair and I'll just drag him onto the slide here. We'll place him uh, right about there. I just want him to line up with uh, maybe the question stem. And right about there seems okay. And what we'll do is we'll click on Tom, go to the properties panel and we'll uh, first of all, give this an, a name, and we'll call this, uh, I, I could call it Tom, but in this case, this is going to be a multi-state object that represents all four of the candidates. So I'm going to just call it Candidates. And that's fine. So we'll click on that again, and click on State View, and we'll add a new state, and uh, Tom will have to be the normal state, but we'll create a state for um, Harper, click OK. And using this um, this button over here, the, the image button, we'll click that and we'll select Stephen Harper. So that becomes Stephen Harper. Do a new state, we'll call this Trudeau. 
I'm not doing these in any particular order. Again, click on the image icon and we'll select Justin. And uh, new state, Elizabeth May, May, we'll just say. And again, select her image to go with that. So now we have a multi-state object that represents uh, all four of the candidates. Um, prior to importing these into my library, I did do a little photoshopping to make sure that they were all the exact same aspect ratio and resolution so that as the slideshow progresses, uh, it won't look out of place. It'll look like it's uh, all of them are framed equally. So I'm going to exit the state now. And what we need to do now is build our advanced action. All the functionality of the multiple choice question is built into Captivate 2017. So there's nothing I need to do other than to set up my question and select which answer is correct. Uh, I will go to my quiz panel and say on success, go to next slide. I prefer that, uh, that functionality. I don't like continue, uh, but that's just me. You can do what you want for that. And so we have, uh, we have, uh, this here all set up and now we just need the advanced action to go with it. In this case, a while conditional action. So we'll select on enter execute advanced actions and we'll create a new script for that. So I'm just going to click on the advanced action icon and we're going to call this, um, we'll call this, uh, candidate slideshow. And um, again, one of the one of the fantastic new features of Adobe Captivate 2017 is that uh, on the fly you can make any uh, advanced action a conditional advanced action just by doing that. And that's a, a great benefit to uh, Captivate 2017. Uh, so we're going to change this from an if conditional action to a while conditional action. So what should our condition be? Well, this is going to run regardless of the condition. Uh, so really all we need to do is just uh, have something that's always going to be true. So we could do one is equal to the literal value one, right? This will just run forever. Uh, there might be some risk in that, but because we're on a multiple choice question and the user can click away from this slide, uh, I'm not too concerned, but you might want to watch this on regular slides because of course, if there's no way to exit, uh, your users might get a little upset with you. So now we're going to do a couple things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the state of our candidates image. Um, let's go with the second choice Harper. And then I'm going to delay the next action by however many seconds we want each image to appear. So I'll just say two seconds seems about right. Um, if it was a more complicated image, you might have it up for longer. And we're gonna repeat this until we've seen all of the uh, images of the candidates at least once. Uh, but it will go, go on forever because again, this is a while conditional action that just goes on forever. So. Then we'll show Trudeau, and actually we can save time by copying previous lines and pasting them. And then all I need to do is change that to May, and then we'll do it once more and change it to normal. So we've got normal being Tom Mulcair. So Harper, Trudeau, May, Tom Mulcair. And because it's a, a while action, it will just start right back over again. We'll save this as an action and close that. So what's happening is here when this slide loads, it's going to show you each candidate for two seconds. Uh, hopefully I got the order right and the, uh, the timing right and all that good stuff and it should work quite nicely. So let's just do an HTML5 preview and see what that looks like. So there we go. So our multiple choices here, it's paused on the slide at the appropriate point, and I see this nice little slideshow, which literally will go forever 
until I select an answer and submit it. And of course, uh, in this case here, the correct answer is Justin Trudeau. And I could hit submit and that's correct. Again, the slideshow keeps continuing. Click anywhere or press Y to continue. And then of course we go to our quiz results slide. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.